welcome to another video. Today I'm going to take you through the process of me updating this very simple tote bag. And I'm sure we all have these, whether it is something that you use as a reusable shopping bag when you go grocery shopping or something that you actually like to carry around things for school in, like I do. Um, as you can see, this is a very plain bag. There's no pockets or anything on the inside. So I wanted to show you how to change some of those things and to make your simple tote bags a little bit more functional. All that I'm gonna be using for this is some extra fabric that I thought matched really nicely. I have this uh, kind of uh, faded white and gold fabric that I just got from Walmart. I also have some cheap $1 Velcro that I'm gonna to use to add a closure to the top. Some elastic so that you can add some where to put your pens inside of your bag. As well as, of course, some scissors, needle and thread, or fabric glue depending on your level of experience with sewing. The first thing I'm going to do is a simple pocket. So I'm just unraveling my fabric here and I'm just gonna cut out a nice, simple looking rectangle. And I'm just gonna kind of use these squares to kind of figure out how big I want my pocket. I'm thinking something like this. Um, maybe a little bit longer or taller off the top because you are gonna be having a little bit of a seam allowance. So I'm just gonna start cutting. I'm also gonna use the pattern to make sure my lines are straight. I'm gonna go up through this halfway and then I'm gonna cut this way through the midway point of all of these diamonds. I'm also not worried about how incredibly straight these edges are over here with the frays because again, we are gonna be folding them in for some seam allowance. After you've measured out the piece that you want, all I did was just press the edges in and you can do this with an iron or with even a straight iron if that's all you have on hand. So just fold and press it down so that it stays just like this. Now the next step is actually going to be adding it to the bag. Select whatever place inside of your bag you would like to put your pocket. Mine's going to be just slightly off to one side because I do want to leave space for my pens. And I actually cut this pocket to be just the right size to hold a cell phone. So what you're gonna want to do after this is you have two options. Either you can take a needle and thread or some fabric glue and go around just these three edges leaving the top open so that you can add whatever it is that you want to do or to put in there, whether it's keys, your phone, or even just some extra office supplies. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Once your glue has all dried, you should have a fully functional pocket. And it fits my phone pretty nicely. The next upgrade that we're going to do is a little space to hold pencils or I guess anything else, maybe chapstick, but I'm just gonna go with these pencils for this particular instance. So you're going to want to take out some elastic and don't stretch it when you uh, put it down. You're just gonna want whatever size you think you'll need to hold, in my case, three pencils. So I'll measure that out now. I've decided to use about this much elastic, I'd say maybe two and a half inches worth, um, and that works for these three pencils. So what you're going to do is you're gonna want to take your needle and thread and thread in on the ends first, or if you feel confident using fabric glue, that is okay too. If you've left enough room that you think it will stretch without uh, pulling at the glue, that might be okay. Um, and then once you have that done, once you're, what you're going to do is with this end covered, you're going to add another stitch or another line of glue right on the other side so that it forms just a nice little pocket for you to slip your pencil into, or maybe that would be better, yes. And it should hold just like that. And you can repeat that for as many little pockets as you want. All right, so this is all done. Now let's see how well it holds. So when you slip your pencil in, it should essentially just make a little bit of a divot that's going to hold it relatively securely. So I slip one pencil in, other pencil, that one's a little bit tighter than the first one, but it's still working pretty good. And last one I made just slightly too big, so I'm gonna try it with my chapstick. It 
yeah, that works pretty good to me. Nice. Now I'll never have to worry about losing a pencil again. The last thing is going to be a bit more of a security measure than anything, but I really don't like bags that can always just fly open. I normally like ones that close on the top, whether it's because I don't want anything inside getting wet or whatever the reason may be, uh, but it's just a lot easier to tell when someone's trying to get into your things or if you're walking around for someone to just reach their hand in and uh, grab stuff when you have these open sections. So I'm going to add just a little clasp over the front of it. And for that, I'm going to revisit this fabric that matches the front. And I'm gonna cut out just a, I would say maybe two inch wide strip that I'm gonna use to kind of flip over and keep it secured on the front and back. After cutting that all out, I once again pressed all of the edges, and now I'm going to go on the back of my bag, and using whichever technique you prefer, either sewing or uh, gluing, you're going to attach it to the back side of your bag. Once you believe that has been sufficiently attached, then you're going to flip over to the front side of the flap, and here is where we bring in our Velcro. So I'm gonna cut a piece about the same length as the strap. Pop that right there. This Velcro does have its own ad adhesive backing, but I don't always trust that, so I'm actually going to secure it down even further with glue. So what I'm gonna do first is only take off one side of the adhesive backing, take whatever glue or if you want to use uh, stitching for this, again, you can, just know that the adhesive is going to get stuck to it. So I have my hot glue gun, and I am just gonna add a little extra glue on the back here. And stick it down. Now once that's done, you're going to peel the other side of your adhesive backing off and close over the top of your bag. And this just makes it so that whenever you attach your bag, the Velcro does actually line up. And there you have some excellent ideas for updating an old tote bag or tote bag that you just need to have a little bit more functionality. So as you can see here, everything is actually holding very nicely. Um, I'll just take the Velcro off the top here, which is surprisingly hard with one hand, please hold. There we go. So you can flip the top open. As you can see, everything has actually stayed inside. I have a nice, just enough space to grab my phone out of the pocket so I don't have to go digging and my pencils and my chapstick have stayed quite nicely. So obviously you can add as many pockets or as many pencil holders or specific elastic holders that you need to suit your particular needs in your particular bag. You could also adjust the top strap by making it longer if you want it to be uh, more of a flip open kind of thing so that hopefully nobody can take your things or you can have a little bit more of a layer of prevention for something like that. Or if you don't like the Velcro, you could use something like snaps or even a magnetic connector. So with all that said, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, stay tuned to next Sunday for another video and hopefully I will be seeing you in the next one. See ya.